Just like everything that we do on this channel, there are unlimited ways to create whatever you're looking to create. So if you're just like me, you're usually overwhelmed before going to a project about how should I start this? You know, what's the best way to approach the project? So in this tutorial, doing what I love doing, breaking down our techniques into four steps, we're gonna talk about how to create a flat logo animation right here in After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So the logo animation techniques we're going here are generic for anyone to follow along with. It's going to work in every logo situation or should work in almost every logo situation. And the reason why I'm not going to doing a custom logo animation is because, you know, every custom logo animation could have different techniques and it might not work for you. So these four techniques we're talking about in this video can be implemented on your logo animation very easily. So without wasting more time, let's go ahead and create some awesome awesome logo animation and four easy techniques and if you want to follow along with this tutorial you can download our project files for absolutely free and follow along with that so in our first logo technique we're going to talk about how to draw attention to your logo and motivate your animation all right so by taking a look at what we've already done here we have this circle coming around our logo and then this line going around and revealing on our title and this is what's bringing attention and motivating your design so these are things you want to think about so by the circle animation right here we're able to bring attention to our logo and then that circle reveals into a line that reveals on our title which motivates that reveal for our title. So that's attention and motivation. So here we are in our blank composition and this is where you'll start off if you download our project file. And what we want to do to bring attention is really easy. So we'll, guess, we'll do some basics here. We'll come here to the top and grab the ellipse tool. Click the word fill, set it to none, click OK. and click on the word stroke, make sure it's set to solid color and click OK. And we can set our stroke width up to like 12 or something. And we'll draw out a perfect circle by holding down shift and control on our keyboard around our logo. And then we'll kind of keep that around our logo like that. And that's cool. We can make it bigger, larger, doesn't matter. Then we'll go to add and we'll add a trim paths. And we'll open trim paths, make sure to begin our timeline and we'll set our end to 0%. We'll add a keyframe for start and we'll move forward by a few frames and we'll add a keyframe for end. Then we'll move forward maybe by like a second or so and set the start to 100%, move forward by a little bit and set the end to 100%. So now you'll get an animation of your circle like that and that's all right. So we can speed this up by a little bit and we can grab all of our keyframes and make them easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. Then we'll go to our graph editor, we'll select all the keyframes here and we'll drag out the top vertices to go across and we'll select the bottom vertices here and go across like that. So this will add some unique animation to it. Boom, that looks really tight. Also, we can add a keyframe for offset and we'll go to the last keyframe here and we can offset this by a little bit. So then it'll be moving constantly. And this will give us an opportunity for right here to turn this into another line to go across. And this is gonna be awesome. So what we'll do here is open up lips one, go to stroke one and set the line cap to a round cap. All right, so now we gotta create that line to go across. It's very easy to do this. All we have to do here is just duplicate this layer. We'll come here to the ellipse one and we can just delete it all right and we'll grab our pen tool here at the top and we'll start this off right here and we'll click a point right underneath where our circle will continue to go with and we'll go across our logo like this and then we'll do straight line you can see we can kind of match this up as best as we can so it's gonna follow this path so we offset our new line layer in time to kind of meet up the right moment and then go back on the trim paths and uh, delete the offset keyframe and set it back down to zero degrees so if we did this correctly, you get something like that. And we can work on this so we can match it up just a little bit better. And of course, let's go back into the stroke and make that a round cap. So with a little bit of fine tune tweaking, you should be able to get something like this with the same exact techniques. It takes a little bit of timing to get the keyframes correct, but this is how we can uh, motivate and bring attention to our logo just by using some very simple graphics like this. Now that we have the floor plan mapped out, we can now animate our logo in a very creative way. So let's grab our logo layer and we can go make this a 3D layer and we'll hit R on keyboard for rotation. And I love rotating objects in from the side and we'll add a keyframe for Y rotation. And let's set this to 90 degrees. And then let's go ahead and move forward a little bit, maybe by like a second. And let's set this down to zero degrees and put a one X in there. And then we'll go ahead and make both these keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And we'll come into the graph editor and we'll just smooth these out. So it'll be like quite, you know, snappy and that's good. And now nice. You get this like nice little 3d rotation 
to your logo and that's pretty nice but I want to continue this so let's kind of move here maybe by like two seconds to like three seconds or so and we'll simply animate this rotation a little bit more so it'll continue to rotate and that's fine and then we'll move forward just by like a few frames and we'll just set it back down to zero so what's gonna happen here is gonna rotate on and then it's gonna continue its animation and kind of just snap in place so that's pretty cool and we have some opportunity for some animation here as well so as you can see as it kind of snaps into place we can do like an impact movement and what I mean by this well it's easy so what we'll do let's go up to layer new null object and we'll parent everything to the null right at that keyframe where it kind of snaps into place we'll go ahead and hit S and keyboard for scale on the null object and we'll move forward to that last keyframe and we'll just scale this down and of course we'll make it easy easy keyframes and we'll boom and then boom smacks into place so it works out really nice and it's just a nice little impact that you can add to your graphics and of course you're probably going to have a title along with your logo so we're going to talk about how we can add some character to our title animation so the thing with titles is you want to give them character as well you just don't want the simple title reveal it's kind of lazy in my opinion so but we're going to go through this nice animation which will allow you to do a bunch of things so we'll grab our title here we'll open it up and we'll go to animate and we'll just add a scale all right and we'll break the chain for scale and set the Y scale down to 0%. We'll open up range selector and we can add a keyframe for start. And we'll move forward by a second. And we'll set start up to 100%. So then you just get this. And we'll come here to the advanced tab and we'll set the easy high and low to 100% as well. All right, awesome. And we'll make both these keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And simply here, what we'll do is we'll just come here and duplicate the animator. So we have animator two, we'll hit U on our keyboard for range selector one and we'll move these keyframes over and we'll come here to animator two and where it says zero percent on the scale we'll go ahead and set this up to like 120 percent so now what's going to happen here is that our letters are going to animate on as an overshoot and that adds us a little bit of nice character to what we're doing then also what i like to do here is once again take animator two and duplicate it and we'll go to animator three grab those keyframes so you on keyboard and we'll bring these keyframes towards the end here after our logo has fallen down all right awesome we'll open up that range selector one and we'll add a keyframe for end and we'll set up our end to zero percent and we'll bring that keyframe forward just by a little bit come here before the last keyframe and set the end up to 100 percent and make that and make those keyframes easy ease so now we'll have our initial animation and then you know there's that and one thing we need to keep note of we want this title to be revealed on it's right when the line is going to meet so go, go ahead and move those keyframes over all right, so now perfect gets revealed on by the line and we have all that extra animation there. So that is super dope. We have our title and logo animation in here. And before we move on, I gotta give a huge shout out to our motion graphics starter pack. So this window right here, you've been seeing throughout this tutorial is called the motion graphics starter pack, which has 500 templates ranging from titles, shape motion graphics, animated backgrounds, lower thirds, and many more elements. And what's great about it is that you can preview each element before you apply it. So we have like 200 titles in this pack that you can preview and apply into any After Effects composition. But for this tutorial specifically, one thing I would like to take a look at is our accent motion graphics. So for example, we can apply this accent graphic to this comp and it'll apply the shape motion graphic really quick that we can go into and easily change colors and do whatever we have to do. You know, with this concept, we can scale this down move around our composition, duplicate it, move it around, and then I can offset these layers in time. And within maybe about 30 seconds, we're able to add more graphics to our compositions really quick. And this is just not the pack by itself. Also remember, we have plenty of animated backgrounds, titles, shape transitions, logo animations, but to even save further time, we have clusters. And you can just apply a cluster. And within one click of a button, we're able to add tremendous detail to our composition with our clusters, which are already laid around your composition for you. So if you want to check out our motion graphics starter pack and start saving a tremendous amount of time while producing awesome work, you can check out our links in the description. It'll take you right over to our motion graphics starter pack. And if you do pick it up, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. And our fourth and final technique, we're going to spice up our composition just by adding a few more graphics to help just bring a little bit more attention to detail. All right. So of course, this might not just be enough. We need to add maybe just a little bit of extra you know attention to our logo at the beginning here so i'll go ahead and create these quick graphics these are super easy to do so all we have to do is come here and grab the pen tool and just want to make sure the stroke is on there and simply click a point hold down shift and do a straight point up like that it doesn't even have to be that long i want it nice and short that's cool 
And once again, we'll come here to contents, go to shape one, we'll open up stroke one and set this to a round cap. Awesome. Then we'll come here to click on contents, go to add, and we'll add a repeater. Open up repeater one, increase the number of copies to four or how many that you want to have. Open up transform repeater one, bring the X position right here down to zero. Set the rotation up by a little bit and you see that we'll get this. And we'll set the rotation to 90 degrees and you see it's kind of spread apart. Now, you might need to play with the anchor point, the Y anchor point to bring it in or out. So it's really up to you. And also the X anchor point just kind of match that up. And I think that's totally fine. And I'll just go ahead and center this best I can. And then I'll hit R on keyboard for rotation and I'll rotate this to 45 degrees and just kind of rematch it best as I can. Okay, so we have our lines right here. And what we can do is just go to add and add a trim paths. And we'll go ahead and bring the end down and we'll add a keyframe for start. And also end a few frames forward and we'll just set that up to 100% and also the end to 100% as well and then make them easy ease keyframes so now by taking these techniques you have the ability to really bring attention to your logo animation and you can also add color to those uh, graphics that we made to tie into your logo so it's really cool and of course make sure to take your shape layers and everything that you've created and parent it to the null object and then turn on motion blur for everything so once all put together, you should have an animation like this. And of course, take those graphics, rotate them, um, and just bring as much attention to detail as you can. That makes sense. So that concludes our tutorial on these four logo animation techniques. Hopefully, you can implement these techniques in other projects other than just logos. Um, and of course, there are so many different ways you can approach a project like this. So hopefully, this is a good groundwork for you to get started. So, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always be creating.